what are the best cyber security certifications those certifications that will land you an interview those certifications that will hopefully get you your first job in cyber security or potentially get you a higher salary in this video i will give you a list of what i believe are the best return on investment cyber security certifications in terms of salary in terms of employability but also in terms of the knowledge that you will gain from those certifications Okay, so the first certification, no surprise, is ISC2 CISSP. So the CISSP, or as some people call it CISP, I don't like that. Um, the CISSP is still one of the most requested certifications that I see in job listings, job interviews. Yes, it's great to have. Yes, it will probably open some doors for you. Uh, just a caveat, I don't have it and it has never stopped me from landing any role. But I understand if you are someone who has been working for a while and you want one certification that will make you stand out, then the CISSP is probably the best certification in terms of return on investment. Now, just be mindful that the certification requires you to have five years of experience in certain domains that are listed with and CISSP but don't let that stop you so if you're an individual who have been working in information technology and in IT even doing some help desk type role where you reset user passwords manage some aspects of security then you may probably meet that requirement so and just make sure you check out those requirements um, and work towards CISSP. I know people who used to work in IT, they've studied so hard, they got the CISSP and that was the certification that improved their chances of getting a job in, in cybersecurity. So it's a very, very viable path. Now the next certification that I recommend, which I believe is excellent certification, good for entry level, is CompTIA Security Plus. CompTIA Security Plus is aimed at people who have no experience and no knowledge of cybersecurity whatsoever. I really recommend this certification because it really touches on the definition of a lot of concepts in cybersecurity. It's lighter than CISSP and uh, you know it's very very doable. I know people who finished it in one month, I know people who finished it in four or five months, it depends on how fast you study. But I do believe it's really good because it teaches you a lot of concepts. Um, hiring managers know CompTIA they know that you know it gives you some sort of background also if you do security plus the requirement for something like cissp uh, goes from five years to four years so it really takes out one year of experience so it has multiple benefits and i think it really also shows you what cyber security is all about so you're not really confused so come to a security plus highly recommended especially if you're new to this field the third certification that I see requested quite often, it's a bit of a niche, it's really requested for penetration testing roles, it is Offensive Security OSCP. So the OSCP is a practical hands-on penetration testing certification. It's really challenging. I've lost count of, of so many people that I worked with who told me they were studying for OSCP, they spent late nights studying for OSCP, only to give up on it or to just say it's too hard, I don't want to do it. So. I'm not saying it's impossible, but just know that it's a hard certificate. Um, the people who did it, I know some people who did it who actually had no experience whatsoever. So if you're really determined and you've got some willpower and time to invest, I think it's an excellent certification. It can get frustrating at times, but I know if you do this certification, it will really show that you know your way around penetration testing and it shows that you have initiative and you can work hard. People in the penetration testing work area uh, look highly upon OSCP so highly recommended I do have another video about how to become a penetration tester that gives you other options that are a bit easier than OSCP so you may want to watch that the next two certifications that I also see requested often are ISACA CISA and ISACA CISM and to a lesser extent ISACA C risk. This is all about the GRC, governance, risk and compliance, but also I see them requested for roles that you know require information security management or even to lead a team because they really give you broad knowledge about various areas of information security and how to ensure that all your processes are in place they are kind of similar to CISSP, but I believe they are a lot easier than CISSP. They still require five years of experience, four years if you have done CompTIA Security Plus. 
Um, so the, these certificates I actually recommend. I think they will open some doors. Consulting companies love to see that you've done CISM because it shows that you're someone who know your way around basic cybersecurity controls. The last certificate or set of certifications really that I personally am a fan of and I think they can set you apart are cloud certifications. So they don't need to be security certification specialties, just cloud certification in general. For example, something as simple as Microsoft Azure Fundamentals or um, AWS Cloud Practitioner. Those are basic entry-level certifications that show that you know the foundation of cloud computing. You know what cloud is, you know what a storage within the cloud is, you know how to you know, configure basic security for the cloud. Um, I think they set you apart. Even something like Google Cloud certifications, there is so much demand, but it's a very niche certification that we don't really have many people who know their way around Google Cloud. So it can be a clever way for you to set yourself apart. And if you've got the initiative and you want to work hard, I think you can go up to do something like AWS Security Specialty. So it really shows that you went in depth with the security setting of cloud. Now, how does this set you apart? Look, there is a lot of demand for cloud jobs. I'm not saying it's easy to get them. I'm just saying there is more jobs within that field. So if you've got some security knowledge and some cloud knowledge, you will be an individual who have a lot to offer. And I think that will significantly improve your odds of landing a job as opposed to someone who have just done a generic degree or someone who, you know, just lost and want to get into cybersecurity and don't know what to do to me, invest the time, do these certifications. And I believe that whilst they don't guarantee that you will get a job, I think they will set you up for success in terms of getting a job. They will improve your odds, but also the knowledge that you will gain after you do those certifications are invaluable. I hope you enjoyed this. I have so many other videos that detail every individual career path. So please check them out.